folks, it is Die Cast Buffet here again, and today we have one awesome 54 die cast. Now, this is not a Cup Series car, but it is a Cup Series paint scheme on a Xfinity car. My goodness, this is going to be such an awesome die cast review. It is the Kyle Busch Nashville race to win car. We got the um, the the Kyle Larson Nashville race win. Now we have the Kyle Busch win from the uh, the the revital uh, revival, so to speak, of the Nashville Super Speedway. This is an incredible car. This is the fourth installment of our five pack adventure, if you will. And uh, without further ado, let's go and open this one up, guys. Alrighty, folks. Right, good old box, and uh, check out this diecast. As you can see, the suspension is a little bit uh, a little bit off road on this one, <laughs> but nonetheless, this is a really really cool paint scheme. And truth be told. I'm just grateful to have it at this point. What an awesome look at die cast here. So this is the Kyle Busch Nashville race to win. Uh, the first thing that I noticed is the door number on the left side looks a little bit bigger than the right side. Could be mistaken. We'll check that out a little bit closer. But let's go ahead and dive on into this one. So it's the Cup Series M&M's paint scheme on a Supra die cast. I'm telling you. I love when Cup Series paint schemes are on the lower series stuff. Like, if, if Chase Elliott brought his Napa uh, Cup Series paint scheme to a freaking Xfinity race, I'd love it, you know? Or a Truck Series race, I freaking love it. I just love seeing it. It, it. it really, I don't know, it just looks cool, if you ask me. So you got the Xfinity logo right there. You got your m uh candies on the hood. You got the Super Decal there, 54, Simpson Sunoco. Uh, got some grill tape right there. Again, this is a race to win die cast, so you're going to have some dirt and grime across the front valence. Beautiful die cast. Oh, I think I see the culprit right there. It's that little plastic piece right there. If I shim that off, it'd probably fix this whole thing. Uh, but anyways, let's go to the left side of this die cast here. Uh, the rowdy decal, unfortunately, is gone. And I think there's a little bit of a, 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 a bump or something right here. Get a little notch right there. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be there. It might be dented. Anyways, <laughs> you know, at least it's a race to win die cast, so I can kind of uh, say some of these little nuances are just a part of the effect, right? Get your race win stickers there. Get what's left of the Toyota decal there. Get the race car decal. Uh, Goodyear. Uh, now, like, this stuff right here is supposed to be there. It's scraped. You got your pop rivet design, 54. I like the angle of the 54. It looks really sharp. Got the uh, interstate batteries decal there. Mobile One. Uh, Mac Tools, Lincoln Welder, Sherwin Williams got the red M&M. &M. He's he's got a lot of sass right there. He's just he's just chilling, having a jolly good time. Uh, American Ethanol, the M&M's logo, which is really small there, which is interesting to know. Let's go to the caboose of this diecast here. Of course, pick this one up over there at Circle Diecast if you would like to pick up uh, this car. If it's still in stock, the five car uh, Kyle Busch set. We're on the fourth installment. We've got one more to go, fellas. Uh, but if you'd like to pick up this uh, this diecast set, if it's restocked or anything over there, even the next gen cars, uh, make sure to check out that promo code down below, guys. Use code Diecast Buffet on any orders thirty dollars or more, guys. And you'll save on shipping. So you got the Eminem's uh, logos right there in the back bumper. Very very cool. I like to see the little candy decals there. Uh, Supra Toyota number fifty four. Uh, get your quad exhaust because why wouldn't we have two exhausts here and have two in the back? Because why not? So let's go to the right side of the diecast here. And to touch on our point earlier, is the 50, 54 bigger or smaller? Let's see, you got the 54 there. You know, I think they're actually the same. I think what threw me off is the angle of the 54 and having a, a different color background. I think that's what kind of threw me for a loop, so to speak. Nonetheless, you got the uh, the, the, the yellow Eminem right there having a handsome, jolly good time right there. He's just chilling. Um, you got all kinds of beautiful, bright, vibrant colors on this hot rod, fellas. Go to the dome of the die cast. You've got the 54. Uh, of course, you have your uh, M&M's uh, stripe, if you will, of all kinds of different colors and whatnot. Really cool stuff here, guys. Really cool stuff. Got Kyle Busch once again. Got M&M's on the back, uh, the back logo there. Really, really cool stuff. Now, I do see some decal nuances right here around the, uh, the shark fin. I'll be honest with you, that's an extremely tough place to wrap uh, decals around it. The car is painted yellow, so... It really doesn't need to paint anything or wrap anything around there, but who knows? Who knows? Uh, but anyways, this is a very, very cool uh, die cast here, guys. And if you missed out on the other four um, or three reviews, I'm going to show them uh, briefly here on camera. So um, this is a five-car set. If you're, if you're just tuning in, this is a five-car set. It has five individual die casts. Um, as of the time of this video, only four of them are exclusive. It has the extra car down here, which we'll be getting to. I want to show the, the artwork real quick. Um, you have the Road America car. You get your Texas, Coda, Nashville, and the Atlanta one. This one is from Nashville. 
And I tell you what, if you love presentation, if you're a big fan of the 2009 boxes, you're going to love this artwork. Just seeing the colors, the, the paint schemes, I'm telling you guys, you're going to love this. To me, this is one of, if not the coolest freaking 164 die cast set made in possibly a decade. Now, this is the Texas car, which as a Texas native is really freaking cool. So you got your Texas Twix car. You have your, well, it's another Texas win. <laughs> it's up in Austin. You have the Coda uh, 54 car. And then you also have the M&M's ice cream, which I don't think they ever did a Cup Series paint scheme for. Could be mistaken on that. But the M&M's ice cream car, that one at Road America. And, you know, this five car set, it's either going to dry up or it's going to be overproduced. We don't know for sure. But if I had a guess today, and again, these videos are only for entertainment purposes, I do think this is going to get rare. I really do. I do think this one's going to dry up. Years from now, you're going to wish you had this five-car set. Can't stress it enough. I would pick up this thing as soon as you can. I would not wait for a holiday sale. I would not wait for Black Friday. I would not take a chance and miss out on this thing. Um, it, it, it does happen. When you have a die cast get rare in the year that it's released. The 2021 Core of the Joy Schluter Systems car, however you pronounce it, that car dried up. J.J. Yaley, car dried up. A.J. Almendinger, car dried up. You're going to see more of that, I think. And um, next-gen cars are the hot ticket right now, but this is easily the best die cast release of the 2021 year. I'm telling you, man, five cars... It's incredible stuff. Now, you can get the Coda win in the Authentics line. I would recommend using that as a donor and just getting this instead. You know, if you see the the, the, the Coda win on the on, on your shelves at your Target or whatever, I would just use it as a custom donor. Uh, but I would I would definitely uh, get this. And that brings me to another point. If you want to add more Supers to your, your Diecast collection, well, guess what? You got an opportunity to get five of them for a very good price. So uh, make sure uh, to pick up those. Uh, these sets today if you like i tell you what guys i'm loving this die cast and here's the million dollar question which one of these cars is my favorite one i can't pick yet i i don't know i can tell you it's one of these two it's either the cup series paint scheme or the extra paint scheme i gotta i gotta review the extra one i gotta review the extra one i don't know why that's not like a pun waiting to happen thanks obv oh <laughs> um, but uh i don't know man I can't pick. I can't pick just yet. I got to do the review on that, so stay tuned. We'll be doing a full diecast review on that one, guys, uh, and we'll be checking out that piece. So I want to say thank you all again for watching. Have a great one, everybody. Diecast Buffet. Sign it off.